with the poke sauce. So we're gonna add one third cup of some low sodium soy sauce with a tablespoon and a half of rice vinegar, a tablespoon and a half of honey, two teaspoons of sesame oil, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and then some grated ginger. Whisk that together so it's all evenly combined, and then I just added some sesame on top for garnish, but this is optional. For the salmon, I have about one pound of fresh salmon here. You're just gonna start off by cutting it into one inch thick slices. Then take each of those slices and cut them into one inch thick cubes. I left the skin on for about half of the salmon that I cut up and then decided for no particular reason to cut off the skin for the remainder of it. So to remove the skin, it's really easy. You don't have to, but it's all just preference. All you have to do is just peel it off. You can use like the back of the knife if you need, but it should come off pretty easily. And then you can just cut them again, same thing, into about one inch cubes. To cook the salmon, I used a grill pan. You don't have to, I just like having grill marks, but you can just use a regular pan if that's what you have. We're just going to grill the salmon. It doesn't need any oil because they're pretty oily itself. So we're just going to cook it for about three to four minutes on each side and then flip it over. I did this in about two batches in this size pan. So I'm just going to repeat that for all the salmon and then set it aside in a bowl. Then while the salmon is cooking, I'm gonna prepare everything else for the bowl. So to start off, I'm just gonna slice up some cucumber and then cut them in half to make half moon shapes. Then I'm gonna use about one and a half mango here. So the amount I use is just preference. If you like more, you can use more. If you like less, use less. Um, that goes for all of these ingredients. But to cut it into cubes, I'm first going to cut it off the seed and then cut a crisscross pattern on the mango and then use a spoon to kind of scoop it out and separate it from the skin. And for the smaller piece, it was just easier to remove the skin first, but same thing, just peel the skin off and then cut it into cubes as well, and then set that in a bowl and put it aside. And lastly, I'm gonna prepare some avocado. So I just cut it in half and then scoop out the avocado first flip it over on the cut side and then slice that all the way down into thin slices and then press it out to make kind of like a fan shape. You can do whatever shape you want. Um, again, it's just whatever you prefer. So now to put it all together, I just have some rice here. I'm gonna use that seasoning. It's just a seaweed seasoning. Um, just add some flavor to the rice. So I'm gonna mix that in and then set it to one side of the bowl and then add in some mixed greens. You can use whichever greens you prefer. I just used a spring mix blend, filled my bowl with that and then started topping it off with everything. So 
So this part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to add on everything, make it look pretty. For the edamame though, it was frozen. So I just boiled it with in some salt water for about three to four minutes, drained it, and then set it aside with the rest of my ingredients. And that's pretty much it. Just putting it all together and then topping it off with some of that soy dressing. So this bowl was super satisfying and filling. It has a ton of flavor and honestly could eat it like every day. Definitely you'll want to give it a try. The full recipe is on my website eatsbykeeks.com. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more recipes and I will see you in the next video.